So yesterday, me and my wife were able to sit down and watch God Bless Bitcoin together. And I strongly encourage it for everybody, regardless of your, you know, if you believe in God or not, regardless if you believe in Bitcoin or not, it breaks down some fundamental principles as far as our financial situation and how we have all gotten here as a society. And I think that is so important to understand. It is such a rabbit hole and mind bending to go down when you start to realize how money and payment and all of this like came to came to be and the whole fact that it's um it's a basically it's it's an exchange system for you know labor for services for goods but anyways it's it's a whole nother rabbit hole within itself and i'm not that great at explaining it but i love hearing about it because it just opens your eyes but imagine if we were somewhere you know let's take a scenario for example Say you're playing Monopoly with a bunch of people and you, you know, there's always somebody that's assigned to the bank and say that person that's, that's doing the banking part of the Monopoly game gets to make as much money as they want and keep as much money as they want. Is there any chance that you're going to win that game? No, there's no way you need, you know, basically who ends up able to get the most money and make the best purchases with that money runs the game. And um, that's currently where we're at as a society. We've been playing a, a, a monopoly game with our government who has all the money and owns the bank banking system and makes all the financial decisions for us. And then we get to figure out whatever is left over and fight amongst one another on these two different parties, Republican or Democrat, which to me is irrelevant. We're all Americans. We need to be looking at this as instead of us all being different, we need to look at the similarities. We all need to survive. We all need to eat. We all need to feed our children and we all want to be happy. It's that simple. Um, and yet we fight about these different things. And it's like, if we could come together, like there's more of us. And I think that's why it is so important to understand the financial system, because once you start to understand how rigged it has been against us, it opens your mind up for other things to like look for information and different resources and understanding that the current game we're playing is not one that we're going to win unless we change the rules. And I believe Bitcoin has that um, could help us do that. And the more people that own it, the more that it stays decentralized. And, you know, the one thing I thought was really interesting is that I still walked away from that documentary thinking, well, what is it? Like, if I'm going to, like, be all in and believe in this thing, like, I need to be able to ex explain it and explain it in a technical way, right? So we can understand it. Now, here's the problem with that is you know let's let's take another example and let, let's use the internet now if <laughs> if you took someone that you know understands the internet and can program and can build computers like I was trying to have a conversation with my nephew and he was like telling me that you need so many fans you know because you got to keep it cool and he's telling me I can't even tell you the different things that he told me I can't even retain it because my mind isn't like there's just no way um, he talks about different programming things and different things he can do. And I, I love his passion and I listen to him, but I have no idea what the heck he's talking about. Um, I love that he's passionate about it though. And so I think about it and I'm like, I don't understand the internet or the, all the different things that you can do on it and the different, you know, programming things you can do with this app or that app or, um, I still struggle with trying to use Excel. I use my stepdaughter and my wife. I, I can barely do what were the word document. I do the fundamentals. Like I know how to, you know, make something bold or underline it. I've learned now like how to center and that kind of stuff. But as far as like being good at it or really understanding it, I just hope that it works when I log on. Right. And, um, but I use it every day and I know the average American does use it every single day. And so I bring this up to try to get through to people about the importance of Bitcoin. People seriously did not think at the time when I was a kid, I would remember like us getting our first computer and it like, you know, like trying to boot up. Um, it was crazy. You know, it made so much noise. It took forever. And at first it was cool, but then it was like, yeah, you know, whatever it, it was kind of sluggish. You know, I think my brother was the one that really took to it. He was, you know, more techie than the rest of us at that time. And, um, but here it is today. I mean, you have literally someone can tell me they need something. My mom in California and I can get on Amazon, click a couple buttons and it can be on her doorstep within 24 hours. 
I mean, I never in a million years would have thought as a kid that that would be happening today. And I reference this as such an important thing is that, you know, there's a lot of people I know that are looking to understand Bitcoin before they believe in it. And I think that's how a lot of us felt back in the day with, you know, computers and the internet and everything that was happening there. And we were all waiting to we fully understood it. We had no idea how big it was going to be. None of us could have predicted it would be what it is today, um, at least not the average American back then. And here we are. And I think that this is an this is a, a crucial moment in time where we have um, a situation where we will be voting here in a few months. I think the decisions that we make uh, as far as that are going to be huge. Um, I also think you know, our financial choices at this point are going to be extremely huge. The middle class is fading fast, very, 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 very fast. I've watched it in my generation and um, it is extremely sad. I've seen it just in the last 20 years really implode upon itself. There's not a lot of us that are surviving. Well, let me rephrase that. There's a lot of us that are surviving and treading water, but I wouldn't say there's a lot of us thriving at this point, uh, which is very, very heartbreaking. And I think that Bitcoin could be that for us, but it is so important that all of us own a piece of it. You know, what that size of the piece is, I think depends on your financial situation and how much education you are willing to do. But I strongly encourage this rabbit hole. It is worth looking into, and if nothing else, understand and do some research and history on our financial um, situation. Like where, where did money come from? How did we start using it? What was the original form of money? Um, you'll start to find out about, I mean, seashells. Um, there was even a, a tulip thing, you know, where tulips went huge and was used as a form of exchange. Um, you know, even understanding form of exchange, um, understanding what a, you know, barter is, um, will help you kind of understand the importance of maybe some of the things that we look at financially, not being as an important as we thought they were and finding other alternative resources like Bitcoin. Um, that and just being involved in your community and talking to other people, realizing that you're not alone out there in the struggle is also extremely important. But I want to wrap up because I could ramble on forever. I have so much passion about um, just the middle class um, here in America. Uh, we have an opportunity to really change things. And um, I have a lot of hope because I think there's a lot of really good people out there. Um, and I think that we're all starting to realize that the trajectory that we've currently been on is not one that's going to create a lot of success for us. So um, with that said, I hope everybody's having a good Labor Day um, and take care.